Hello caring viewers and welcome to Vegetarianism, the noble way of living. Today we feature part one of a two-part series on the South Central Farm, an organic community farm and garden in California, USA. The South Central Farm was first established in 1994 in a dense urban area in South Central Los Angeles. Located at 41st and Alameda Street, this 14-acre land had been cultivated by local residents for years. Surrounded by warehouses and industry, this lush oasis hosted a diversity of plants, including fruit trees, vegetables, herbs, flowers, and even exotic flora. The South Central farmers use sustainable farming methods, which do not involve any use of chemicals. Their products, fresh and organic, are abundant enough to feed the farmers, their family, and the community. Hearing of their organic vegan farming work, Supreme Master Ching Hai had contributed 10,000 U.S. dollars to support their noble endeavors. Today, Teza Zomak, a representative from the South Central Farm will tell us about the background of the farm. It was a community garden that was put together after the 1992 uprisings and my father had started it with other other community members and the, the land was a vacant lot that had been abandoned. When they first started to turn it into a community garden people had to dig out pieces of concrete, they had to remediate the land, they had to bring it back to life and then and it began to feed, you know, about 350 families. And then not only that, but, you know, the extended family that went along with families like that. For the a majority of the constituents were women, single women, uh, retired uh, grandmothers who would bring their children there. And then also to show them a different way of life, you know, a constructive, uh, positivist way of life that would impact them in a, in a good way. The original South Central farmers came from different indigenous groups in Mesoamerica. Their traditional beliefs in farming involved caring for the land and retaining agricultural methods that do not use synthetic fertilizers or chemical pesticides. People in our communities have been doing organic for 10,000 years, it's just that it's rebranded now as organic. These are the traditions that we've been carrying for thousands of years, so for us, why wouldn't we do it organic is a question. It's, it's the way that we've always done it. It's our tradition and I think that that's uh, important. The South Central farmers also grow their traditional plants from their heirloom seeds and created one of the most diverse gardens in the United States. A lot of the things that were grown in the old site, uh, Dr. Payne from the University of Washington came in and did an ethnobotany study and he found that there were over 135 varieties of consumables and medicinal plants more than the UCLA Botanical Gardens and it was a very impressive thing to see that over, over a period of 14 years many community members had brought in their heirloom seeds, had brought in traditional seeds that they had grown back home and were growing them now in this one specific place in downtown LA. Josefina Medina, a South Central farmer, offers an example of the multi-generational contributions of the community. Básicamente, uh, yo crecí en el campo. Uh, a mí me gustaba mucho estar con mis abuelos. La razón de que ellos tenían una, digamos, una extensa 
tierra para no. crecer diferentes uh, tipos de, de, de plantas. Y lo que me, me gustaba mucho porque mi abuela uh, sembraba plantas que mi bisabuela tenía. Y hasta este tiempo mi padre todavía conserva semillas que mis bisabuelos tenían. As a community garden, South Central Farm provided local residents an opportunity to grow their own crops. Many constructive changes took place in the neighborhood as a result of this diverse garden. We looked at the Newton Street uh, crime statistics and, you know, crime was reduced by 70 percent. And the reason being is that people had a stake in the well-being of the community. The, the land as an integral part of people's uh, community was cared for because the land cared for the people, the people cared for the land. There was no division between them. The garden was a glue that glued people and invested people together in a, in a way that none of the other social institutions do uh, currently. When we return, we will learn more about the South Central Farm. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. And it was one of these historic moments where you had what we call the environmental justice movement, which are you know usually by marginalized people and low-income people coming together with the mainstream environmental movement. It was the first time that the two coalesced and actually worked together. And in my opinion, it was very effective, the kind of work that we were able to do together. And we were able to raise awareness. Welcome back to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living on Supreme Master Television. The South Central Farm had successfully established itself as the largest urban farm in the United States with its 14-acre parcel of land. However, in 2006, the land was sold to a wealthy developer. The local farmers then organized a self-governing group in the hopes of keeping their community garden and bringing environmental awareness to the world. Celebrities such as actress Daryl Hannah and environmentalist Julia Butterfly Hill joined in their efforts and gave full support to this social cause. Well, I want to thank Daryl Hannah. I think a lot of us are very grateful for her, her humility and her commitment to, uh, to change uh, all around and then her her commitment to the environment and to the you know to to all the living things on this planet. Uh, when we were um, uh, struggling for the farm early on, it took us you know three years to, to save the farm. And uh, a year before that, I had met with Julia Hill Butterfly, who was a young lady who spent uh, two years on a tree, 720 days trying to save it, a tree by the name of Luna up in in. Um, uh, up north in the state of California. Uh, Julia was very instrumental in bringing a lot of very uh, powerful people to the table to try to help us to save this, uh, the farm. And so, you know, Daryl was able to bring a lot of celebrities and, and uh, Julia was able to bring, you know, Joan Baez and Danny Glover, you know, Martin Sheen. A lot of these people who understood, uh, and Ralph Nader including, who understood how important it was to save this space and what it meant for the community. And it wasn't for its, you know, purely its monetary value, it was, you know, what it meant to everybody. And even today, what it means to people around the world. Award-winning filmmaker Scott Hamilton was inspired to direct a documentary on the moving efforts of the local farmers trying to save their community garden. 
the film titled The Garden earned a 2008 Oscar nomination for the best documentary and garnered much attention for the noble cause. Right now there's another uh, farm that it started that is based exactly on the work that we're doing in Camarillo. Uh, in New York there's a lot of uh, other movements that are very similar to the work that we've done. Uh, there's been books written in German about this struggle. The documentary The Garden by Scott Hamilton was very um, instrumental in bringing awareness and elevating the, the issues that we had been talking about 17 years previously to what are the issues currently being discussed. You know, now Michelle Obama, the first lady, has an you know, organic garden at the, at the Capitol. The White House, now she's opened a farmer's market, and then she's also saying, you know, these are very important issues, and, and we agree with her. Today, the South Central Farm has been relocated to Bakersfield, 120 miles north from Los Angeles. The farmers continue to practice sustainable farming on this 80-acre land. The abundant varieties of fruits and vegetables grown here still feed the same neighborhood in South Central Los Angeles and in eight farmers markets in the Los Angeles area. Moreover, the organic agriculture methods applied produce such plentiful harvests that local Bakersfield residents are also able to purchase these affordable organic products in farmers markets or through ordering community supported agriculture or CSA boxes. We remain committed to the principles of what we had started, the principle that you know people should have access to healthy organic produce. Currently right now we bring a lot of organic food into the same communities that I don't have access to them, you know, South Central, the farmers markets, our community supported agricultural program affects you know, over a thousand people easily uh, every week. We bring food into uh, eight uh, farmers markets across LA from uh, Hollywood to Watts and La Mira to Atwater to City Hall and we also have 23 CSA drop-off sites including some at UCLA, Antioch University, uh, Skirball Center, um, City Hall, and all of the farmers markets that we do, Boyle Heights uh, Community Garden and, and so we we're very excited that we've been able to grow these kinds of green jobs for the community, take care of the environment, improve everybody involves quality of life along the way. We have to say all this is organic. Yes, we're certified organic by CCOF and we're registered USDA uh, organic. The high quality organic vegetables produced from the South Central Farm are widely embraced by local consumers. Para que supieran el sabor, uh, entonces ya la gente empezó a, a yeah. concientizar que ya no sabía lo mismo cuando iban al, al mercado. Y, y a hoy ya tenemos más consumidores. En lo personal, yo vendo en un mercado, hay una familia uh, es, uh, digamos, de bajos recursos. Y la, lo que me dijo, tiene razón. La razón es que ella siempre compra con nosotros. Dice, y mis niños antes se enfermaban bastante. Y a hoy que estoy dándoles, tra tratando de siempre comprar productos orgánicos, uh, me da mucha satisfacción ver que ya no los he tenido que llevar al hospital de emergencia. Right, o sea awesome. que so eso para mí es satisfactorio. Do you get a lot of uh, feedback like this? Bastantes. Right, Bastantes. Fruits and vegetables that are chemical free and pesticide free are not only tastier, but also healthier for humans and our planet. Gentle hearted viewers, we enjoyed your presence today. Join us again tomorrow on Vegetarianism, The Noble Way of Living for the final part of our two-part program featuring South Central Farm. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Up next is Between Master and Disciples. Wishing you many blessed days filled with divine love. To discover more about the South Central Farm and its great produce, please visit 
www.southcentralfarmers.com. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash veg.